we call the function burn to remove liquidity and then update the amount of tokens owned to our position. However, to actually transfer the tokens, we will need to call the function collect. So in this video, we will implement the code for collect. First, let's open the Uniswap B3 pool contract and see how the function collect is implemented. The function collect is going to take in some parameters, recipient, tick lower, tick upper, and amount 0 and amount 1 that we want to transfer. For the output, it's going to return the actual amount of tokens that was transferred out. We will first get the position, and then the amount of tokens to transfer are calculated as the minimum of amount requested and the amount of tokens that is owned to the position. If this amount is greater than 0, then we update the position and then transfer the tokens out. Okay, so let's implement this code inside our clamp contract. So let's start with the inputs. The inputs are address recipient, int 24 tick lower, int 24 tick upper, uint 128 amount 0 requested. This will be the amount that we wish to withdraw from the pool. And likewise, uint amount 1 requested. We also put a modifier lock. This will be a reentrancy lock. And then this will return to the outputs. Returns uint128 amount 0 and uint128 amount 1. Okay, the first thing that we'll do is get the position. So say position.info. And since we're going to be updating the state variable position, this will be a storage. Position is equal to positions.get. The position is determined by three parameters, the owner, message.sender, and the two ticks, tick lower and tick upper. Next, we'll calculate the actual amount of tokens that will be transferred out of the pool. This will be the minimum of amount that was requested and the amount owed to the position. So say amount zero is equal to, if amount zero requested is greater than position dot tokens owed zero, then we will return the smaller of these two numbers, which will be positions dot tokens owed zero position dot tokens old zero otherwise amount zero requested will be the smaller of these two numbers so we say amount zero requested then we'll do the same for amount one amount one amount one requested position old one position dot tokens old one and amount one requested okay the last step is to update the position and transfer the tokens out say if amount 0 is greater than 0 then we'll update the position first position dot tokens o 0 we'll subtract it minus equals amount 0 and then we'll transfer the tokens out in the code for uniswap b3 it uses a transfer helper called safe transfer and this function makes sure that the erc20 transfer either returns a boolean of true or it doesn't return any booleans this is mostly used for tokens like USDC and USDT, where it does not return a boolean. However, for our code example, we'll keep it simple and then just say IERC20 of token 0 dot transfer, transfer to recipient for the amount amount 0. And then we'll do the same for amount 1. If amount 1 is greater than 0, then we subtract from tokens old 1 for amount 1 and then for token one, transfer amount one. Okay, that completes the function for collect. Let's try compiling the contract. Inside the terminal type forge build. Okay, and our contract compiled successfully. So that completes the function for burn and collect. And we also completed the function for mint. So from starting from the next video, we'll start working on the function for swap.